Today's technology means more kids are sitting, staring, sedentary. There's no more TV, that's enough. As soon as they come from school, they're going to sit in front of the computer and play with that. The other one going to turn on the TV and watch TV. Every time I said, no, no more TV, that's enough. She said, no, mommy, please, please, she's begging me. Please, this is a new show. I want to watch this. Let me watch this. Yeah, we all want to take it easy from time to time. But if your kid can outsurf you on the net and can't beat you in a game of chase, you may want to mix in a little fitness fun. So the next time you're out toy shopping, look for what are known as active toys. Something as simple as a hop ball or something as sophisticated as a fitness driven computer game. With all the choices out there these days, it's easier than ever to get your kids motivated without them even realizing what you're up to. Youth health experts say kids need at least an hour of physical activity a day. Now, that doesn't mean 60 straight minutes, it means 60 total minutes. I think active toys are great because they're not, they're not a machine that, that, as adults, that we hate to use. To a child, it is a toy. So present it as such, and they're going to get outside, and they're going to have a fun time, and they're not going to realize that they're burning calories and that they're working their heart, and that's okay. When you're shopping, you'll find two types of active toys, low-tech and high-tech. Though the low-tech toys are less expensive, both are equally good at making your kid move. Let's start with low-tech. Moon shoes and carpet skates don't even require batteries. You just strap them on and start exercising. I mean, playing. Both of these are good at building balance and coordination. Another great thing about active toys, most can be used indoors. This rainy day combo with its swing and trapeze is like bringing the park home. And it's great at building muscle tone. If you want to buy a product used in your child's PE class, look for this. It's called kick -a flick designed by a pediatric nurse, good for fine-tuning coordination. Now, many moms tell me their real challenge to fitness for their kids comes from video games. If I let them, they want to play all the time, but I don't let them. So why not make her work at it at least some of the time? Video game makers are developing more and more games designed to get your couch potato up and moving. Nintendo's Wii Sports game requires kids simulate different sports. A good overall energy buster. I hear boxing works up the biggest sweat. And Fisher Price is out with the Smart Cycle, which requires your child pedal to play. This builds gross and fine motor skills. And your child gets to swim shape lake and scale math mountain, learning every step of the way. While these are great at getting your child up and moving, think of them as reinforcement and not a replacement for active family time together. I love just playing with my kids, Grace and Heath. If you plan to give one of these as a gift, just remember to jump right in. You'll be an active shopping mom and a fun one too.